Hey guys, in this video we're going to go over how to put the Xfinity router in bridge mode. Really easy and simple to do this guys. So if you're basically using a device that is connected to your home network, this is what you do. You want to open up a web browser such as this one. Go to the admin tool, go to this, put this on your search bar, okay? This URL and it will bring to you this website and you want to enter the default username and default password. Unless you have changed it, it will be admin as a username and put admin right here. And you want to write under password, just you want to write the word password. This is case sensitive. Do not put capital letters or anything like that. Just password with small letters. Okay. And if you had already, as I said, guys, used or changed your uh, admin password, use your new password to log in. Okay. And this is what you do, guys. And from the left hand column, what you're going to do is you're going to select a gateway. And this will bring you a drop down uh, of options. You want to select at a glance. Now here, what you're going to do next to bridge mode, you'll see two options, enable and disable. You just click on enable and what you will see is a warning message that says, warning, enabling bridge mode will disable router functionality of gateway and turn off the private Wi-Fi network. Are you sure you want to continue? Just click on okay to confirm. And what will happen is your wireless gateway may restart and you can now use your own router in place of the wireless gateways router capabilities and then you can just go ahead and click log out here at the top right then just connect your personal router to any of the ethernet ports on the xfinity wireless gateway and of course guys if you want to use your gateway routers capabilities in the future just log into the admin tool navigate to gateway at a glance and set the bridge mode to disable okay really that easy and simple guys so i hope this guide provided value to you and if it did, consider smashing the like button as well as subscribing to Frequently Asked Questions. And I'll see you in the next one.